yes uh, welcome back uh, today we will discuss about an important topic that is how to write a nursing case study so there is a format for writing case study and that format we will see in this video so what is nursing case study a nursing case study is an in-depth analysis of a patient or a number of them suffering from a particular disease for promotion of their health status it cover a detailed analysis of healthcare phenomena and at the end of the writing your case study it should provide detailed information about patient status and follow-up plan so it is an in-depth analysis of the patient and what is the problem of the patient and what is the suffering of the patient and a detailed analysis will take place in a case study to overcome the situation as well as to develop some follow-up while coming to the content of a nursing case study, we can see these following things. First thing is introduction, second is history collection, third diagnosis, fourth physical examination, fifth present medical history, sixth present surgical history, seven past medical history, eight past surgical history, nine point family history, along with family history, family tree, ten point investigation, eleven medication. So like this, it will continue. Anatomy and physiology, this is condition, etiology, signs and symptoms, diagnostic procedures, management, comparative study, nursing diagnosis, nursing care plan, summary and conclusion, and bibliography. So this many things you have to include in a nursing case study, in an effective nursing case study. All these headings are very, very important. So, we will see detailly what is each heading. First thing is what? Introduction. So, in the introduction or under the introduction, you have to write a brief description about the whole case study. So, for example, if you are taking the case study of appendicitis, a patient with appendicitis means you have to write about the patient and with so on some symptoms, the patient got admitted in the hospital and diagnosed it as appendicitis etc etc and this case study includes the details and management of appendicitis so this introduction will give an outlook to the person or the evaluator who is checking your case study so what you are trying to explain through this case study so you have to write a brief description about your case study under introduction there is no proper format like particularly you have to write like this there is nothing like that in your own words you can write but include the information regarding your patient the patient's conditions and what are all the things you are adding in the case study that is introduction so that is the first heading then you can go to the next session that is history collection in nursing care plan nursing case studies nursing case presentation wherever very important thing is writing history collection so without history collection you cannot do anything you cannot continue a case study or care plan or case presentation whatever it is so history collection is acting as the heart of a nursing case study and history collection history collection the word itself meaning is a history collection you have to write the history of patient that history you can collect from the patient as well as from the case sheet under history collection you have to write the age name sex ward number time of admission education and occupation of the patient and address so these are all the basic things you have to add under history collection and in is there any extra information is there which you can add under history collection that also you can add but you have to add all these points compulsory age name sex of the patient ward number time of admission, education and occupation, and address. Then, next section, diagnosis. So, the next heading is diagnosis. So, first heading is introduction, second is history collection, third one is diagnosis. Under diagnosis, what you have to write means you have to write the diagnosis as it is in the case sheet. If it is appendicitis means you write appendicitis. So the medical terminology appendicitis, liver cirrhosis, cardiac arrest, left side heart, heart failure, right side heart failure, renal failure, whatever it is. Okay, that diagnosis you have to write under the heading diagnosis. 
Next heading is present medical history. Under the present medical history, you have to write the present situation of the patient. Here we have appendicitis, right? For example, we have appendicitis means you have to write Mr. ABC got admit in the hospital on date. Which date? Okay. With the symptoms. If it is appendicitis means definitely pain will be there. So you can write with pain and abdominal, pain and tiredness. Okay, and after thorough examination, the doctor diagnosed it as appendicitis. So, present situation. What is the present situation? You will get the information about the present situation of the patient from the case sheet of particular patient as well as from the nurses and also from the doctors. Okay, so present medical history. After present medical history, you have to write present surgical history. If there is any present surgical history means you have to write about the surgery surgical procedure when it is done okay what was the procedure all the informations you have to write and this information also you will get from the case sheet and also from the nurses or nurse in charge or who is working in that ward okay and there is no surgical history means you can write no significant history of surgical history no significant history of surgical history Next thing is past surgical history. In the past surgical history, you have to write about the past history of surgery. If there is any surgery, means you have to write about the history, all the details about the uh, surgery. Okay. And if there is no surgical history, means you can write no significant history of past surgical history. Next is medical history, past medical history. In past medical history, if there is any past medical history, like he or she, um, used to take this tablet he is taking the tablet for diabetes he is taking she is taking the tablet for a thyroid any medical history means that you have to write and if there is no medical history means well and good you can write no significant history of past medical history then family history writing family history is very very important because family will give you lot of information regarding the condition of the patient either it is a genetic disorder it is a hereditary disorder or the patient's family is having the risk of condition so to understand the risk factors family history is very very important to take care to do the follow-ups family history is very important all these informations you will get from the case sheet as well as from the patient mouth or from the people those who are staying along with i mean the caregiver from them also you will get information under family history you have to write the uh, informations about the family as well as you have to draw the family tree in this slide you can see how to draw the family tree and how to write the family history chart okay so you have to make column like this name relation age occupation has status in the in the column of name no you have to write the name of the first relation okay like father mother daughter Daughter, son, child, whatever, okay. Their name, then the what is the relation? If father means father, mother means mother, and their age, and what is their occupation, and what's their health status. If their health status is good, means you can write good. If they have some problem, for example, type 2 diabetes mellitus, means you can specify that, okay. So after that, you have to draw the family tree, okay. There are some specific. Uh, uh, procedures will be there i mean like uh, some particular format you have to follow or particular symbols you have to follow while uh, drawing this family tree and family tree also very important because that will give a diagrammatic explanation of the present family status of the patient in this picture you can see uh, the symbol which denote male the symbol which denote female the round symbol okay okay the, the one is with round thing is female and the square one is or rectangle one that is female male and the one with cross that is dead okay and one with complete black that means dark color that is ill okay so depend upon the uh, situation like how is the present family status based on that after listening from the patient and after checking the case sheet you can draw the family tree okay the next heading is investigation under investigation you have to write the investigation report of the patient okay you have to make the column like this name of the test normal value of the test patient value and impression for example blood test okay rbc okay under you can write the name of the test blood test under that you write rbc and normal value of rbc you write patient value what you got after the 
investigation that you will get from the case sheet okay that you can write your normal value simply it won't be there in the case sheet if it is not a printed one if it is written by someone means there won't be no no normal values but um, if it is a printed one definitely normal values also will be there so it is easy to write otherwise you have to find out from the textbook or from the uh, website then you have to write the patient value then you have to write the impression if it is norm normal means you can write normal if it is the rbc count is more means you have to write it is uh, the impression is showing that the rbc count is more than the usual count okay so whatever the impression you are getting that you have to write so like that every test you have to write under the investigation blood test rbc wbc platelet urine test okay and other tests whatever the test is there related to uh, the particular condition that you will get that the information you will get from the investigation sheet that you have to specify under investigation next thing is medication same like investigation here also you have to make columns okay name of the drug dose of the drug root of the drug frequency of the drug time of the drug so these columns are very important like name of the drug okay what in analgesics six have given like paracetamol so what is the dose of paracetamol what is the root either it is an im or it is oral okay iv whatever that you have to write then frequency in what frequency you are giving three times or 2d bd whatever it is okay like one time you are giving two times you are giving three times you are giving whatever it is that you have to write then time what time morning the time you have to write not like morning 8 a.m 2 a.m 2 p.m so the time you have to write so this information also you will get uh, from your uh, case sheet then next heading is anatomy and physiology now you are from from these heading onwards i mean from this session onwards you are going to do the research regarding the particular condition so for that we will start with anatomy and physiology under anatomy and physiology we uh, here we are talking about appendicitis right so you have to write about appendix okay what is the anatomy of appendix what is the physiology okay what is the function of appendix okay that you have to write you can get the information from a reference textbook okay and after writing that after detailly writing you have to draw the picture under anatomy you have to draw the picture of appendix then physiology what is the function that you have to write neatly after writing that you can go to the next session that is disease conditions okay under disease condition you have to specifically write what is appendicitis what is the definition of appendicitis what is the etiology of appendicitis what is the signs and symptom of appendicitis what is the management of appendicitis okay and all this information you you can collect from a reference textbook okay from a medical surgical nursing textbook or from the website PubMed kind of website you can search and you will get the information and that information you have to write under the session disease condition okay after writing disease condition one of the very important thing which you have to write you must write in case study is comparative data in comparative data what you are going to do means you will compare the book picture with the patient picture what is there in the book what is there in the uh, patient's sheet that you will compare okay if you see this picture you will understand how we will write the book picture and patient picture or how we will compare okay first heading sometime we will write signs and symptoms in the first column you have to write the book picture okay in book picture what you have to do you have to write the uh, symptoms which is present in the textbook okay weakness pain in the abdomen lack of appetite in opposite patient picture okay in patient picture weakness the patient is having weakness means you you, you can put tick mark patient is having pain in the abdomen you can put tick mark okay the book, you are comparing the in the both signs and symptoms okay then lack of appetite in the textbook lack of appetite that is a sign of this appendicitis okay but if the patient is a, is not showing lack of appetite means you can put cross mark okay like that you have to compare like that you have to compare the etiology you can compare the signs and symptom you can compare the investigation you can compare the medication so what are all the things are there in the case sheet compare everything uh, uh, by uh, by book picture i compare everything with patient picture so compare everything like book picture and patient picture take together and make column like this and compare it it will be helpful to understand the present situation of the patient and what is the uh, preventive techniques which you have to follow to overcome the situation of the patient okay then 
uh, after writing this you can go for nursing diagnosis so this book picture will really help you to write the nursing diagnosis in a prioritized way based on the book picture after seeing the signs and symptoms based on that you can create the nursing diagnosis minimum seven nursing diagnosis you have to write okay and the first priority one first you have to write least priority like knowledge deficit kind of things that you have to write last so like that in a priority way you have to write the nursing diagnosis okay go through the video related to how to formulate a nursing diagnosis and care plan then you will understand how to formulate a nursing diagnosis and care plan okay so after writing the nursing diagnosis you write the nursing care plan okay form follow the format like assessment diagnosis planning rational implementation evaluation write all the column and write neat and clean nursing care plan after nursing care plan next session is follow-up under follow-up you have to write about the follow-up procedures to get recovery from the present situation for example the patient is uh, taking medication means you can write doctor suggested to take the medication for this many months then consult the dietitian to follow a diet plan take proper rest follow the doctor's appointment surgical side care etc etc it depends upon the condition of the patient okay and after that you have to write summary and conclusion under summary and conclusion you can write so far we had a discussion regarding mr abc's condition the condition was this and the situation was this compared the book picture and patient picture like that you have you can write the summary after summary you can go to the conclusion and at last you can write bibliography and reference that is very very important because you are collecting some of the data from the reference textbooks and medical surgical books right so to support that data definitely you have to write the bibliography to write bibliography there is a format like apa format will be there okay videos are there in the channel if you search you will get the information regarding how to write a bibliography okay so there is a format is there for bibliography that also you have to follow so this is the format which you have to follow to write a nursing case study okay guys so nursing case study will give a detailed information about the situation of the patient it will give a in-depth analysis okay of the condition of the patient as well as it will help to find out the solutions for the problems of the patient okay all these headings are very very important and you have to add all these headings then only your case study will be complete hope you understand guys thank you